Well, Myron, this is a stunning car. I was clear up at the clubhouse when I saw this pull in and I had no idea what it was, but I came running down and then it just disappeared. And it was a couple hours before I found it sitting here. What is it? It's uh, the Paxton Phoenix, the one the and only Pax Paxton Phoenix. And there's only one. It's a, a prototype. A prototype or? made uh, between 1951 and 1953, uh, commissioned by Robert Paxton McCulloch, who owned Paxton Supercharger McCulloch Chainsaws, had right. it uh, commissioned. You say it was made between 51 and 53. That usually means that was the model year, but they spent two years making this. Exactly right. Yeah. He commissioned, uh, McCulloch wanted to get into the car business back in the early 50s. Uh -huh. He was doing gangbusters with superchargers and chainsaws and lawnmowers. Life was good. Yeah, life was good, you know. Uh, so he uh, he commissioned really kind of his dream team to build, to design a car, a grand touring car. He hired Brooke Stevens to do the body design. One of my heroes. Hoffman Engineering, Rod Hoffman out of Detroit, to do a special advanced chassis design. And uh, the king of steam, Abner Doble. Wow. To, uh, to design a... Uh, so this was going to be a steam-powered car in the 50s? Either steam or uh, he had his own people working on an eight-cylinder reciprocating uh, two-stroke engine. Chainsaw guy, two-stroke engine, of That's course. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, this this is amazing. I mean, it, it looks, because I see texture in the fenders and everything. Is it fiberglass? It's a fiberglass car. The car is, the body is all fiberglass, including the bumpers. The bumpers are but chrome chromed. fiberglass. First time uh, chrome had been applied to fiberglass successfully. And how'd they do that? Uh, they, they discovered that if you impregnate it with uh, silver nitrate lacquer. Make it conductive. That's right. You could uh, take the uh, copper, nickel, and uh, chrome uh, And you coats. could chrome fiber. So that's a fiberglass bumper? That's right. Both bumpers are fiberglass, and it was oh the first God. time it had been done. It also looks completely original. This is original paint and everything, right? It's got 740 original miles. Wow. Um, had about 620 when we bought it. Still on its original tires. <laughs> you got to love it. Well, the interior is so unique, too. It, it's... Uh, it's so nautical. Yeah, it's uh, at the time Stevens was doing a lot of work for Chris Craft, and you can see the nautical theme uh -huh. taken over in the dashboard. And remember, it was going to be a steam car, so the throttle controls on a boat were now doubling as the steam controls. It's wild. And you could see the, the continuing theme of the three geese, the flying geese, stylized on the hubcaps and on the front. That was the Paxton family crest. Ah, so, so it was going to be steam powered. What's under the hood? Right now, it's the trunk. It's the trunk. <laughs> the steam never made it. The steam, why didn't the steam? Well, there is a good, there's, there's a lot of speculation as to why steam never made it. Uh, they spent two years and a million and a half dollars on this project. A million and a half bucks? A million and a half, way back when. Like 53 bucks. Yeah. Wow. And uh, Stevens delivered the body, you know, with the electrically retractable hardtop and all the other neat features. Uh, Hoffman Engineering did an aluminum space frame chassis based on the principles of the 350, Porsche 356 at the time. But in that time, Doble wasn't able to successfully produce a running, reliable prototype. So whatever's powering us back there, what is it? Uh, there was a leftover Porsche 356 engine uh, from a new car they cut up. And uh, Stevens, so, <laughs> no, I'm sorry, Paxton back, said, put it back here. <laughs> put, it, put it back there. Well, that's a Porsche 356 uh, engine, isn't it? It's a 1952-1500 Super. That about a, 55 or 60 horsepower. It's the doggondest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I mean, you know, usually that thing's packed into some little bitty back end that's just made for it. This right. is like it's set, they set it in the trunk. Yeah, that's right. Well, <laughs> keep, keep in mind there's going to be like a giant, you know, eight-cylinder engine back here or a drive motor from the steam. You know, people ask me a lot, say, gosh, that little motor can drive this big car. Well, being all fiberglass with an aluminum chassis, weighs only about 100 pounds more than a stock Porsche 356 of its era. No kidding? Yeah. So now, uh, back here, this is chrome fiberglass too, as that, are these? No, this is this is uh, custom. That's uh, that's yeah. metal, but this is chrome fiberglass. Right. Wow. Well, cl close yeah. it back up, because the lines of this car are just so stunning. But you can now, see when the deck lid was up, it mimics exactly the top, and the top would electrically come back and nest right over the, uh, the rear deck lid. Well, and you've probably got one of the most unique cars here, I gotta tell you, Mark. Thanks so Thanks. much. It's, Thank it's you. It's really been a Thanks pleasure. Thanks for your interest. Fabulous.